Hello, my name's uh, Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars. Another video clip of a great LPG vehicle. And it's a bit windy today, so I'm going to raise my voice. I don't think I'm a shouty person because I'm not, but it's just that the wind does tend to affect the uh, sound on the camera. So it's the Vauxhall Astra. It's uh, a 53 plate, registered the 22nd of December 2003. It was then owned by its first keeper till 2006. And then our last owner, so this is a two keeper car, owned it from 2006 up to last month. So uh, there's two owners from new, full service history, and it's very, very clean. I've never seen such a clean, old shape Vauxhall Astra. Um, it's a factory fit, very low miles at 34,000 miles. So it was offered by Millbrook, who converted all of Vauxhall's um, vehicles to LPG. So it's an official factory approved conversion. And what Millbrook did was leave the full size spare in the boot and bolted it to the floor. You get a little Allen key, tool kits there. But what most LPG owners do is leave this at home and carry a tin of tyre sealant instead. I've got a set of four carpet mats to go in the car. And under here, where the space safe, where the spare would have gone, is the LPG tank. And as you can see, it's the factory approved Nikam Coltec system. Um, split rear seats, parcel shelf. It's the club trim, so it was a little bit uh, more upgraded over the normal LS. Speakers in the rear, manual windows, pair of rear mat pockets, three rear inertia seat belts, and a central armrest with cubby hold to get into the, the boot area. A ski hatch basically. What well, to put two rear headrests, little interior light at the back. Um, it's got lots of airbags. This was an option on these Astras, so there's side impact airbags in the two front seats. Uh, looking in the driver's um, door card, we get two front one shot electric windows, remote central locking. There is two keys, one is a remote and one is just normal blank with a transponder inside. So two keys that came with the car, height adjustable driver's seat and the driver's seat, it looks and feels brand new. There are no rips or tears, there's no undue odours, it really is in a very clean condition. No rips or tears or marks to the rear upholstery, front door card, front carpet, foot wells, very very clean no wear sh showing to the um, driver's footwell either so now we're out the wind a bit i can uh, talk less loudly i've got a uh, headlight control here uh, to change the angle of the headlights and dashboard intensity and the rear fog light familiar territory to most Vauxhall owners with the wiper stalk there and the indicator stalk on the other side it has a FM radio but it's got a tape deck so not many people carry tapes anymore so this can easily be changed into the Vauxhall CD single shot CD player which can easily be found so should you want to you can swap this for a CD player and it can still work off the steering wheel controls that are mounted uh, strangely enough under the steering wheel uh, I mentioned the airbags earlier there's a driver's airbag of course front passenger airbag airbags in the A pillar and also in the B pillars so what's that four five six we've got eight airbags in this Vauxhall Astra which is rather nice heating controls recirculate air conditioning that does need regassing so we'll get the aircon regassed heated rear screen little uh, cubby hole with a cigarette lighter that has never ever been used doesn't smell of smoke in here that's the LPG switch, that's it switched to gas, that's it switched to petrol, so I leave it permanently switched over to LPG. I'll come to that in a moment. There's the uh, five speed manual gearbox, handbrake, and obviously the cubby holes, little bits of storage dotted around the car. Um, what else can I tell you? We've got, uh, I think we've got a little vanity mirror on that side, and obviously a rear dipping mirror as well. 
So what a clean, lovely example. Seat belts are also height adjustable. I'll show you uh, now some of the documentation. So the V5 is here. It's one of these Welsh V5s, whereby it's in Welsh and English. So on the Welsh, on the English side, of course, because I can't read Welsh, it's shown it's got one former keeper um, and acquired the vehicle when it was brand new, December the uh, 22nd, 2003. And the last owner has had it since the 30th of December 2006. So at three years old, he bought it and this gentleman has had it ever since. So it's classed as an alternative fuel car and at 151 grams per kilometre CO2, it's £160 a year to tax. And just showing you the registration and date of registration on the V5. So everything is here. The current MOT expires, where are we? November the 12th, 2012, but we will re-MOT this car again. There was some advisory, but it was uh, borderline tyre tread depth, cut on sidewall, but it has had new tyres, so all the advisories would have been seen to in the last MOT. Along with the current MOT, there is also uh, great service history. I'll show you the old MOTs, which is just great to see. So going right back until 2006, when it had its first MOT at 13,000 miles. The next one in 2007, it had done 17,000 miles. The next one in 2008, it had done 22,000 miles. Next one in 2009, 25,000 miles. Next one in 2010, 29,000 miles. And last year, with a new style MOT, it was done at 32,000 miles. So we can guarantee the mileage of this uh, Vauxhall Astra, which is, which I'll fold you accurately, 36,000. I'll just show you. Where is it? Can you see it in the camera? I don't know if you can or not. But it's showing 36,808 miles. Backed up by great full service history. I'll just turn to the appropriate page. It's all been stamped up and there's all the invoices as well. So it's serviced every 20,000 miles or two years actually, although it says 12 months. But serviced at 5,000 miles, 11,000 miles, 13,000 miles, 19,000, 29,000. So it's last serviced at 29,000 miles. So the next one is due basically at 49,000 miles but again when we have the car MOT'd we'll have it checked over as well great comprehensive full service history all stamped up along with the original book even the radio code for the tape deck all the manuals that came with the car when it was brand new are still present and correct so if we just start the car now there we go it clicks straight over to LPG and we've got one gauge that measures both levels in both tanks so we've got a moment just over a quarter tank of petrol and we've also got a full tank of LPG. All the warning lights go out as they should and uh, it runs very well, very nice and tight, power steering as well and in a short while uh, I'll take you for a short test drive. So under the bonnet of the Astra it's all looking very nice and clean, everything is aged as it should. That's the vapour unit which vaporises the gas and injects it into all four cylinders. It's the 1.6 8 valve engine, very reliable, very robust. No signs of any accident damage, it's very clean, but uh, no new parts fitted and of course it is also HPI clear. And there's the official sticker just to prove that it was fitted by Millbrook from new as well. So before I walk you around this uh, great little Astra, I'll just take you now for a short test drive. So welcome to the test drive. So we've uh, started it up, we just pull away. The clutch feels absolutely spot on, but halfway up the pedal, it doesn't snatch. Second gear, nice and smooth. Third gear, 35 miles an hour. Pulls very cleanly, doesn't pull to the left or the right, pulls nice and straight. 
it really does feel like the Astras of old. When we used to buy these that were just three years old and they were very tight because they were just such new cars and this feels exactly the same. It really does uh, show that it's been looked after even though it's covered a relatively low mileage. It uh, still smells like a new car and it's very very tight. So nothing rattles. Fifth gear, 2000 revs, 50 miles an hour. You'll be returning around about 85 miles to the gallon in this car in price terms with LPG costing around 60 pence a litre. So I just pull over now, make sure there's no one behind me, just put on the brakes, no hands on the steering wheel, pulls up lovely and straight as it should. So that concludes the test drive. I'll just take you now for a final walk around the car. So welcome back from that uh, test drive. I'll run around the car and run around all the tyres. The front offside is virtually brand new. I'd say six, seven millimetres on that tyre. Uh, the discs are good as well. I can't actually see them to show you. All I can, I can just about see them. And they are not lit. You can just about make out the disc in there. So the discs are fine. Good tyre on the front, practically brand new. The windscreen is chip free. The wing mirror, tiny little greys on there. A few odd little tiny scratches. This back tyre again is, I think this is the low one, this is about two or three millimetres on this back tyre. Uh, wheel trim, a little bit of scuff in there. I'll tell you about the other wheel trim. This has got some scuffing on this plastic wheel trim which can easily be replaced. No dinks or dents down the side, it's very very clean. The rear corners of this bumper are clean, there's a tiny scratch there to the plastic bumper. The lenses are all good. This rear tyre again like the front is practically brand new, six seven millimetres on that. This wheel trim, a little bit of scuffing on that side. Looking down this side there's the odd tiny tiny mark and there's the shallowest of dents on that door there. Wing mirror is fine. Again the other front wheel, very very recent, like the other one, six seven millimetres. This wheel trim heavily scuffed as often cars are being the near side, side nearest the kerb. So uh, just make you aware of that plastic wheel trim. Again I mentioned no chips to the screen. The roof is nice and clean. The front corners, this front corner has got a crack in the plastic bumper that could easily be repaired, prepared and just blow in that front corner. So a little bit of scuff to the front corner of the bumper. The other corner is fine. Chips, well, the odd tiny, tiny chip, but it does stand very well, this car. It's very bright. So, valve Astras. Um, very very cheap to run, cheaper than the diesel version with a factory fitted, never did show you the filler, the factory fitted LPG system from Millbrook. We won't have this for long so very good value for money and extremely low mileage with that full service history and also just two owners from new. So thanks for watching, if you have any questions about this or any of our LPG vehicles please feel free to give me, Jonathan, a call anytime. Thanks for watching.